break in the case of an 87 year old woman shoved to the ground in Chelsea. Barbara Guzdan later died from her injuries. Now, nearly two weeks later, a 26 year old woman has surrendered to New York cops. But the big question tonight, why did she do this? Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett is live in Chelsea with more. NJ. Michelle Day, of course, that is the big question that Bill is asking. Why did she do it? What led up to this horrible incident that, of course, captivated the city? And when you talk to people about this whole situation, it's elderly people in the city who feel this newfound sense of vulnerability. But yes, a suspect was arraigned here moments ago. A single count of manslaughter, two counts of second degree assault. Prosecutors said in open court that she actually fled to her parents' home on Long Island in the days after after the incident and then apparently hid there until there was an anonymous tip to police, which prompted her surrender in New York this morning. Lauren Pazienza hid her face behind her long red hair and said nothing as she was led from the 10th precinct after surrendering to NYPD detectives. But onlookers had plenty to say. Horrible, absolutely horrible. How do you shove an old lady? How do you shove anybody? We feel victimized. We feel easily victimized. And I began to feel vulnerable. Ms. Pazienza's face was practically everywhere for nearly two weeks, ever since she was seen on surveillance video leaving the crime scene where the victim lay bleeding on the sidewalk. Barbara Gustern was 87 years old and suffered a traumatic brain injury after witnesses told police she was shoved to the pavement by a young woman who called her an offensive name that begins with the letter B. A.J. Gustern is the victim's grandson. She crossed the street, shouted something derogatory at my grandmother and pushed her down and then fled across the street and just fled. The motive was still not clear late this afternoon and sources say the two women did not know one another. Ms. Gustern was a beloved vocal coach who trained three generations of singers, many of whom performed on Broadway. She was on her way to a performance when she was shoved and died five days later. Lauren Pazienza's family lives in Port Jefferson, Long Island, but she maintains an address in Astoria, Queens. She worked most recently for a high-end French furniture designer. For days, A.J. Gustern says he tried to imagine who the suspect would turn out to be. To be honest, I'm white hot today. I've been trying to give this woman the benefit of the doubt. And it seems to me like this woman comes from a similar background. Like what really got to me was finding pictures of her smiling in art galleries, dressed nicely with other people. Defense attorney Arthur Idella. They're absolute strangers and whether it was a push or whether it was a shove or whether it was a kick or whether someone tripped, the evidence is not very solid on that at all. So we'll see what happens. Ms. Pazienza was distraught at times in court. She's apparently engaged to be married in June. Her parents were in court today, but they did not comment as they left the building. The judge ordered a psychiatric examination, and she is ordered held on half a million dollars bail tonight. Live tonight, Lower Manhattan, NJ Burkett, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.